Welcome to the official MakerPipe YouTube channel. My name is Dave. I'm one of the owners here at MakerPipe. We're starting a new series called MakerPipe Monday. This is where we take your builds that have been posted on the MakerPipe Connect site and share them in a YouTube video. So every one of the projects will be linked in the description below and be sure to share your build for a chance to be featured on the next one. Now that we've got that over, let's check out the builds. The first one we've got is from Sue. Uh, she made this great chicken enclosure to keep her chicken safe from the hawks. She took maker pipe and, and made the outside fencing and then took some deer fence and, and hung it on the outside. She then took some wire and made an, a ceiling on top um, to keep the chicken safe from the hawks. It came out great. Uh, she says that it's been up for over a year, so the chickens are safe and maker pipe held up. Awesome job. Thanks for sharing, Sue. Next one we have is from Sean at Molly's Micros. He did this hydroponics build where he took maker pipe and used it as the frame uh, to hold up multiple levels of NFT hydroponics. Uh, this is where I guess you, you put a small thin layer of water with nutrients across the bottom of the plants. And um, he says it really works out great. So I think he got this idea from uh, the people at On The Grow uh, YouTube channel. So check them out if you want more information on this build. Thanks for sharing, Sean. Really like it. Next, we have here a build from Joey at Synergy Mill. Synergy Mill is our local makerspace. They're in Greenville, South Carolina. So if you have a chance and you're in the area, check them out. They've been a, a great maker pipe supporter for a lot of years, and we really appreciate it. Here he used it to make this support structure for his TEDx Greenville letters. Um, Joey also runs the TEDx Greenville and is a part of that. And they needed something that was easy to take down, easy to move to the event and set up. And uh, it looks like it did the trick. So uh, thanks, Joey. Appreciate sharing and, and thanks for all the support. We really appreciate it. Next one here is from Rita. This is for um, seedlings. In early spring, she did a, a light rack here with the light supported from the top bar with some hooks. And then all it took is four connectors, two on the top and two on the bottom here to create this awesome light rack that's adjustable. So thanks for sharing, Rita. Awesome job. Next one is from Mike. Mike um, shared this with us a while back. This is his kayak storage. He wanted something that was easy to push around his his garage put out of the way and then when he it was time to load it onto the vehicles it was at the right height um, so he did some pvc pipe here under the kayaks so they weren't resting on the conduit itself and uh, really came out great he i know he added some 45s for bracing on the center pipe after we took these photos so really appreciate that mike thanks for sharing Next one is from Thomas. This has been dubbed the um, a Star Wars theme. It's the Stormtrooper conference table, which I think is super fitting. The white and black looks awesome. It's got a lot of cool futuristic angles, but Thomas made this as part of a, a design project that he was doing in Vancouver. And everyone that sees this just thinks it's, it's great. Um, I think it's got a second life too. He, he started using it as a 3D printer stand after he was done with the table, which is, that's a, a huge 3D printer too. Real neat. Awesome. Thanks for showing us, Thomas. Next one is uh, posted by Rick, but this is a build from Bob in New Jersey. Bob's a superintendent of a middle school and his students built this to sell concessions at lunchtime. Uh, came out great. They did it in their school colors. Um, I really like the axle and the wheels they did here and the casters. So great job, guys. I hope you sold a lot of, a lot of snacks at lunchtime. Thanks for sharing. This one is from Carol down in the Southwest. Uh, we talked a lot with Carol and helped her through this. She did a phenomenal job uh, building this carport. She did a maker pipe frame. You can see the connectors here and then covered in a custom tarp. She's got guy wires here to hold it all down. She wanted something that could handle, you know, a storm if it popped up. But fantastic build, Carol. I really like the custom leather straps you did here to hold on to the connectors. Great job. Thanks for sharing. 
Next one is by Sam. He posted on Make Your Pipe Connect, and it's a great cover shade for his uh, his tow boat, uh, for his wake ski boat. Uh, it's fantastic. He did some co covering here, custom covering, strapped in, and uh, it looks like he used a bunch of tees. And I really like the slick curves that he did right there where he bent these up, swept these back. It looks like it's going a mile a minute, just standing still. So fantastic build, awesome. Last one we've got is from Matthew. Matthew's been a customer for a long time. He runs a road race company where he puts on foot races and does the timing for that. So we've seen a lot of builds from him doing the timing things, uh, but this one he did at home with his son's desk. Uh, you can see there's a an existing desk here that he has his computer on, but he built the maker pipe structure around that to give it uh, a lot more storage and then to hold the gaming system and the TV. Really cool. He used black on the conduit to give it that look, and it really looks slick with the black connectors and the wood. Awesome job. And that's all the builds we have for this week. Thank you everyone for showing off what they made with Maker Pipe. Uh, I really appreciate it. And be sure to check out their builds a little bit more in detail on Maker Pipe Connect in the description below. And uh, thanks again. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. We'll see you next time.